I S U P K. That's what I love about the COVID-19 so much. Cause Negroes running around here loving America, raising up the flag, thinking you about to be part of uh, Donald Trump's new era of America. And the Lord sent the plague that shut the country down, man. All right. All right. The Lord sent the plague like he did in Egypt and put you Negroes back in the house. All right. All right. You was out here being all types of wicked Negroes in America, man. Black women all on the strip poles. They had to wipe the strip poles down for that COVID, man. Right. Brothers out here selling drugs. Brothers out here selling crack cocaine with the mask on their face. Right. Talking about got it, got it, got to follow the rules and regulations, brother. Right. With the COVID, man. Right. COVID nineteen that had you Negroes locked in the house. Now you finally spending time with your kids. You understand? You gotta teach them bad kids how to sit down and learn something now. Right. You understand? Your oppressor can't get you at the job uh, uh, 60 hours out of the week no more. They done cut back on the hours, man. The economy shutting down. Right. Right now, you Negroes begging for that $1,200 check. Which one of you Negroes begging for that unemployment, man? Starving for them food stamps. You see how the Lord would do in just a blink of an eye? Y'all thought 2020 was about to be the year of the harvest, man. The year of change. It's gonna get better for black people. We gonna vote, we gonna get Trump out of office, I'm high. and everything's gonna be just all right. I'm high. And the Lord sent the plague, wiping us out, man. Right. They say black people more acceptable to that COVID-19. Why? Because of all the underlying conditions which been plagued us because of poverty and oppression, man. Right. right. And now what? Your hospitals filled up. You can't get health care in America, man. Right. Now what you going to do? What you going to do? Your pastor got you addicted to lab crops, uh, la uh, lobster and shrimp. You need your good pork chop at least twice a week. Right. Now what you gonna do, man? You have no choice but to turn to the Lord, man. I seen a brother the other day, had the mask on his face, right? Pulled down the mask to smoke a cigarette, man. Put back over the mask, blew the smoke right back in his face. Right, right. <laughs> That's a brother ready to perish, man. That's a brother ready to die. That's the condition of black people in America. Ain't that sad, man? Our spirits have been so beaten down. We just re waiting to die, man. Right. Just waiting to die, that's all we doing. Hoping we catch a lick or two before we leave the earth. Hoping to hit a hoe or two. We just want a hoe. We want some weed and a big booty hoe, that's all we want. Right. Then we good to go to the grave, man. Right. We never thought about, you know, other stuff like being on the moon or nothing. The white man take care of that. Our oppressors take care of that. Say, Negro, don't, eat, don't you even worry your little mind about it. You show up to work at, at McDonald's, flip these burgers for eight hours. I'm gonna give you a little paycheck. You're gonna have enough to buy one of these burgers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You're gonna have just enough right, right. to pay your bills and enjoy one of them burgers you done flipped. Right. And that's it. 
That's all we want out of this place, man. You know what I'm saying? A nice pair of shoes every now and then. Right. A nice crisp shirt. You know, it's got to be designer. You know how Negroes do. It got to be designer. And that's all we want, man. Can you believe that? Ain't that sad, man? Our sisters, what our sisters want? Just a nice set of Remy, 16 inch weed, the Remy kind. They don't want the nappy head Negro kind. Right. The one with the curly. They, they want the Brazilian. Right. The blonde, the blonde Brazilian too. <laughs> Our sisters so destroyed. They walking around with yellow, blue, green, red. Look like a stoplight. <laughs> right. I don't know where to come or go. You understand? That's how destroyed we are, man. Sisters don't want to rock them braids. You understand? They don't want to rock that natural fro. Ain't that sad? Ain't that sad, black man? Right. We don't want to stand for each other and create our own jobs. we rather go... You, listen, I know y'all hate putting on that suit, shaving your beard off. That's why he hates you. He hates you because you got all the flavor, damn. Right. You done took all the flavor on the earth, but you don't want nothing in return for it. LeBron James, and how much they get paid? Hundred millions of dollars? That ain't enough. If I had LeBron James talent, I'm making them devils break the bank, man. Right, right. And I'm only playing in the hood. Right. If you want to see me play, you got to come somewhere down on Glenwood at one of them local gyms to see me dunk a ball if I'm LeBron James. All my brothers get in $10 admission. Right, right. But if you any other race, $1,000 for the bleacher seat. Right. If you want to be on the roof, that's $12,000. Right. I'm busting their head. Why? Because can't no Lee Chang dunk the ball like no Negro, man. Right, right. Yeah, right. Clap that up, man. Don't know white boy. Don't know white boy. Listen. Listen, don't know white boy run that ball like Walter Payton and all them. Adrian Peterson and all that. They know that, man. But what? We don't love ourselves enough. I'll probably give me Proverbs 3 and 31. I'ma show you our problem, man. I'ma show you what's black people problem in America. It ain't hard to fix it. But what we gotta do is we gotta look at ourselves and value ourselves more than we value them, man. Right. It may seem hard, but it ain't hard when you follow these rules, man. Right. I used to be the same way. I ain't buying from no nigga. I ain't, wow, I ain't doing this with no nigga. Right. You try to start a business with some nigga, you, you automatically thinking, which nigga gonna cheat me first? Right. Ain't that sad? Ain't that sad that we think like that? That we all ready to set up, set ourselves up for failure before we even succeed? Before we even try? All the fried chicken, all the good fried chicken coming out of that black household from that black woman, man. Right. All the good fried chicken, man. Right. All that cornbread and collard greens and all that. Black eyed peas and all that. And we let them serve us our fried chicken. Right. I say we deserve the punishment, man. Right. We deserve the punishment, man. Because how foolish can we be, man? Right. How foolish can we be? Right. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. Read that again. Envy thou not the oppressor. Envy thou not the oppressor, man. Right. Don't envy your oppressor, man. That's what causes you to go into sin, man. That's why you brothers out here on these street corners selling dope. Right. Because you want to be like your oppressor, man. What's the brothers uh, the, uh, with the uh, the black militia group? Uh, the NFAC. Them niggas picked up guns and started shooting their damn self, man. Right. You want to know why? Because they want to be like the oppressor. Right. Picking up guns like the oppressor. We got a militia like, you know the second amendment say you got the right to bear arms and form a militia. Negroes thought that was talking about them. That's how destroyed we is, man. I ain't saying don't pick up no gun. Legally, if you can own one, own as many as you can. Right. Because these devils, they is after us. 
you will have to defend yourself right. against the devil. Right. You understand? Because the devil lusts for our blood. Right. So don't get me wrong. But don't think that you're going to bring yourself out of oppression by fighting these devils, man. Right. That ain't how you, that ain't how you fight the oppressor, man. You know how you fight the oppressor? Stop smoking this crack. Right. That's right. That's all you got to do. Right. You want to know how to get to the moon? Listen, it's other galaxies. And this may be over your head. It's other galaxies outside of the galaxy we living in. That's right. Don't you know that God made it? for us to rule and conquer them galaxies? Don't you know that? Don't you know we supposed to be ruling on Pluto? But a Negro can't put down a cigarette. Ain't right. that something? Right. We can't put down our oppressive cigarette for five minutes to rule Pluto. Right. Would you rather a black or Pluto? Which one you want, black man? Guess what? You can't have both. Right. Right. You can't be like your oppressor. Right. Because guess what? He ruled when you follow after the ways of him, man. Right. Read. Every thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. None of his ways, man. None of them. That means everything that we was taught, we got to reject it, man. Right. We got to turn from that. Right. And you better know it's a lie. 